So we're at the brand new chemistry building, as you can see behind us. Um, and so we are hosting our first annual Rain in Chemistry and Science Day. There's about 10 graduate students that came up with new demonstrations of how to um, talk about their research projects in a way that's accessible to anyone from fourth grade and up at any school age. And I'm an organic chemist, which means that I focus primarily on carbon-based chemistry. You heard of dynamite? That's what that is. So TNT. This is a nitro group. So I have three of them. So tri, nitro, and then this guy right here is called toluene. And so there is machine learning, there's organic synthesis, like drug synthesis, there's environmental chemistry, um, magnets, there's all kinds of stuff. And the planetarium's got some shows going on as well. Demonstration with uh, hydrogen balloons so they can learn the difference between helium and hydrogen. Um, and then we have some big science demos as well. Oh, that was great! <laughs> We just did a liquid nitrogen demo, so we can uh, demonstrate how uh, you can cool things to cryogenic temperatures um, and how that uh, freezes the water in living cells. And they learned a little bit about the uh, chemistry that's going on in uh, ODU's chemistry department. I agree. I think students are able to, the people who kept coming, um, are really able to see a wide range of ages, a wide range of backgrounds, and, and just hopefully find science more accessible. Um, we want the community to realize that uh, here at Old Dominion, we're, we're open and invested in them learning about our department and kind of the impact that we can have, not just in you know the ivory tower of academia, but in their day-to-day -day lives. Like This is something that hopefully everybody can look at and take something away from. And so yeah. we just want to give that back to the community because we are a federally funded institution. And so really we kind of owe it to the public to give them information about what we're doing.